Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at the BRM rocket pods. These are rocket pods with 90mm diameter rockets that are laser guided. So let's arm up. We can have them on pods 2 and 6. Each uh, rocket pod carries 16 numbers, 32 in total. We will need a targeting pod. If you're going to shoot your own laser, we're going to do our own pod. Next we need to do our usual process of card in and update the SM DT uh, DTC SMS. Next we need to bear in mind that we need to hard code those rockets with the correct laser code for the designating laser that they're going to be looking for. It's something important if you're doing especially a complex mission. So we're going to go to ground crew here and let's say we wanted to update the laser code of let's say the tens digit and I wanted to make it into a five and then I would apply that to the left outer pylon for instance and you can see then that we've updated the laser code for that pylon there to 1588 as a standard is 1688 so just make sure if you're going to change your code from anything other than the standard 1688 you need to do this to the rockets otherwise nothing is going to work I'm going to put that back to 1688 now because it's just going to be easier and then we're going to take to the air so we're in the air now ensure master arm is on and it is air to ground mode and let's check our SMS. So these guys are warming up now, the BRM pods, they're now armed. We're going to make sure we've selected them, and we have. We're going to keep mode in DIR, which is all that we've got. Quantity, we can have one at a time or two at a time, and we'll do two because it's cool. We're going to salvo them. We're not going to have a breakaway altitude, but we could change that if we want. And we're going to fuse them with an E-fuse. And we can tell here that they are on the default 1688 code. Next, we need to warm up our T-pod. Menu, pod, T-pod on it's already warmed up and ready to go it makes this screen with soy with air swan right i'm going to cage it i'm going to move it down and find some targets go to narrow field of view zoom in we've got a proper full video on the teapod um if you want to know what i'm doing here i'm going to find a target there looks satisfactory i'm going to make sure lasing is on auto because i don't want to have to laser this myself which is fine i'm going to press target lock We've now got a point track and this will work with a moving target as well. And that's it, we are literally ready to fire now. Just check what you can see here. We're in air to ground, DIR is our mode, weapon is ready. Range is 2.8 miles here. The weapons information, we are in range here. We've got our target here within our circle here. This is the targeting pod ring, this is the speed triangle, that is the target point. Regards range, again it depends how fast we're going, how high we're going and so on but we found around three or four miles. We're gonna fire now with a push and hold a weapon release. Pew, off they go. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And Dumba. So it's important to note that we don't move the teapot away until the missiles hit, because obviously the laser needs to stay on target until those missiles are hit. What I can do now is move away and Undesignate, and I can go and find another target now. How about that guy down there? We've got to check that he is in the circle here, and he's not, so I'm going to adjust my position. Woo! <laughs> and there. Was it there? Let's have a shot. Off they go. So if you're quick, you can get, say, two targets attacked on one run, but because you have to wait. Before you redesignate, you can't do much more than that. It's a shame they're not fire and forget. We'll finish here, we're going to undesignate the target unlock. I hope that was useful and see you later.